we're going to launch something called Tough Mudder 2.0, a completely new catalogue of obstacles. Everything's going to be new, everything's going to be exciting, things that challenge our participants, that foster teamwork and camaraderie, things that are fun, and they have to be physically and mentally challenging. It's going to be painful. There are going to be some people that when we change it all up, say, why are we getting rid of the old favourites? but we're gonna make them better. The reason that over a million people have done our events is because we have the best obstacles and we're gonna build even better obstacles. So let's be clear, this is the future of the company. Great obstacles, great experiences is by far and away the most important part of this company. We're part of a business that changes people's lives. It gets people healthier, makes people happier, it brings them together with their friends, it raises a lot of money for great organizations like the Wounded Warwick Project. And the work that you're part of is the most important part of all of that. You have your marching orders, it's going to be fun, but it's going to be a long road as well. Get to work. Thanks. All right, thanks, thanks, guys. Will. Thanks, Will. All right, guys. I'm not sure anybody actually understands what this means across the full menu of obstacles. It's a lot of changes. Yeah. It's great, but that's a lot of work. And if we get it right, it can really um, move the ball forward. And, you know, at the end of the day, we know more about obstacles than anybody else in the industry. I don't know if Dwayne's available, but I think a lot of the things that we come up with, we'll be able to give him that, that idea and he'll just run with it. Dave, tell us a little bit more about Dwayne. What's, what's his background? He went to school for engineering, did some light excavation for a while. Over the years, he's, he's done a lot of uh, work with pyrotechnics. He's a licensed blaster. He was always into finding a, a newer, better way to do things. You say I'm a licensed blaster? Yeah. Does he have any property up around where he lives? Yeah, he's got a few acres up there on the side of the hill. You think Dwayne could help us out on this? Yeah, yeah, I'll give him a call. Realistically, if we if we don't get this right, we don't have a lot of time to pivot and get ready for 2015. Let's go.